Welcome back to another material testing video. This is PETG with some PTFE or Teflon inside by Spectrum. And I bought this for myself from the budget which I got from the Polymaker, who will soon become a channel sponsor. And don't worry, these don't have any kind of effect on my search result. They are just sponsoring my research. Now back to this filament. The base material is a very popular PETG with 10% of Teflon with self-lubricating properties. According to the website, uh, this will result more resistant to the friction wear and it is designed for sliding elements and gears. The mechanical properties and printability should be very similar to the regular PETG, which is good and also this means that we don't need an enclosed printer for this. The print settings are very similar to the regular PETG, the nozzle between 230 and 255 degrees Celsius, bed between 60 and 80 degrees Celsius and cooling between 75 and 100 percent. And only this part cooling looks a little bit higher, which I usually use for the regular PETG. The main part of this video will be using my regular testing methods and the results will be added to the summary table for my Patreon supporters. But thanks to this self-lubricating property, I have to figure out somehow the wearing and the friction test. For the wearing, actually, I have the equipment and only I have to figure out some friction tests too and I want to compare it with the regular PETG. It's in a plastic spool inside the vacuum packaging and same print settings we have on this sticker. And this bag is resealable. Nice red color. The filament shouldn't be brittle and I can completely bend it. Now for the touch I cannot really tell that this is smoother or something like that compared to the regular PTG. Inserting into the AMS unit and the printing will be on P1P using Texture PI sheet. The temperature tower will be from 260 degrees Celsius down to 230. But that can check until it's hot, it sticks very good. But the object is still attached even when the bed cooled down, but it is removable. And the tower looks great on any temperature element. Even until 60 degrees Celsius, which is 5 degrees above the maximum recommended print temperature. And these are my final print settings, 255 on the nozzle, 12 will be the maximum flow. And this is the default part calling for generic PETG. All objects are finished without any problems. And they are ready for the mechanical testing, but <laughs> they are not alone. I need something for the thumbnail image, but maybe this will be too small. Cute printing, but for the thumbnail image I need something a little bit bigger, so I print only a gear. Yes, this will be much better. <laughs> it's a part of the fidget toy. I need few test objects for the friction and wearing test. This one is for the friction and it goes to the 2020 alloy extrusion. And of course for the reference I will use the regular PTG, this is the Polymaker. And this object is for the wearing test and it will be compared again to the Polymaker PTG. I have a separate video where I explain uh, this test and I'm using a smaller shaft 3mm in diameter and the weight is uh, 2.5 kg. And I will have exactly 100 repeats. This is Polymaker PETG and I'm going to the Spectrum PETG with the Teflon inside. Here you can see them side by side but of course I have to measure something. I clean the edges and I'm measuring the depth of this groove. Spectrum 0.3 millimeters. Polymaker regular PETG 0.25. This means less wearing on the regular PETG. Hmm. Definitely something I want to check, so I will do this test again, but this time with 200 repeats, and I will compare it with the Pro7 PTG. This is Pro7 PTG, and this is a Spectrum. I cleaned the edges a little bit, now let's measure the depth. 0.48 millimeters. Zero point fifty-five. Interesting again, bigger wearing on this Stefan version, and these are from the previous measuring. I have to be quiet. Somebody is still sleeping. 
Now let's try to measure the friction somehow. With TPU filaments, I have this experiment where I place this uh, 3.5 kg load. These legs are still printed. And then I'm pulling and measuring the load. But with this, I'm measuring only the adhesive or start friction. But many of you asked to measure somehow the slide friction, but let's do this first. So this is the Polymaker PTG. The surface is glass. 0.29. Zero point three, zero point three, and now this is spectrum PTG. Zero point thirty two, zero point thirty one, zero point thirty two. So from spectrum slightly bigger adhesive friction compared to the polymaker PTG. Now let's move to the aluminum and I also notice that the adhesion friction is again better with the polymaker PTG. Pay attention if you move first. And now into opposite direction, they move together because this is pushing the red one. But it's time to measure the sliding friction too. Uh, this DC motor, when it gets 12 volts, it rotates one rotation in 4.6 seconds. The diameter is uh, 50 millimeters. This means the speed will be around uh, 2 meters per minute. Not too fast, but it is still sliding friction. And here I will place 2.5 kg load and I will measure the pulling force. The setup is prepared and I'm looking for the sliding friction when it is in movement. Zero point forty four approximately. And now the spectrum. Zero point forty six or seven. And I get more friction with the spectrum. I'm starting with tests. I test with horizontal printed test objects. Layer adhesion tests with vertical imprinted test objects. And this material I will compare to the average PTG and I have a 20 pieces in that summary table. And this spectrum is below this average PTG tensile strength, but the difference is not big. With the layer adhesion, the difference is bigger, and reminder, I printed on maximum recommended temperature. But this value is still acceptable, here you can see my scale for 4x4mm layer adhesion test. Shear tests with horizontally and vertically printed test objects, and I'm starting with horizontal ones. Side by side horizontally and vertically printed test objects. In both tests, spectrum was weaker compared to the average PETG. The horizontal test object is less sensitive to the settings, unlike with the vertical, where the layer adhesion is very important. The twist test, and again I have objects printed in horizontal and vertical position, and I'm starting with horizontal ones. 0 0.8 0 0.9 0 0.10 Printed in vertical position. Oops, 0 0.8. I'm not surprised that this printed in vertical position breaks very suddenly, but I don't really remember when could I make two rotations before the failure. Of course, for me, load and 90 degree rotation is more important. This Spectrum PTG was weaker by approximately 15%, but these two rotations before the failure was quite interesting. I'm not sure is this positive or negative. Decide yourself. C point bending test, distance between supports is 50 millimeters, and these loads will be placed one by one, and I will measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. This is a deformation under 1.25 kilograms, under 2.5, 5 kilograms, still very minimal deformation during that time, under 10 kilograms, and uh, now I can see some additional deformation during this one minute. During the test the deformation was very noticeable, but now there is almost no permanent deformation, very minimally. The deformation was very similar to the average PTG, except here, nice to see on 10 kg that we have a less deformation during this one minute with this spectrum PTG. Impact test with this hair hammer. Zero position. Zero position. After the break, the edge position of the hammer is 18 millimeters from the zero position. This means the spectrum PTG is brittle, similar to other average PTG materials. 
The crypt is deformation under the constant load and as you can see I have really a lot of tests in the progress and the load will be 1.25 kilograms. Sixteen point seventy-five. I will measure them every day, but in the video let's jump five days. This is the last uh, fifth day, and interesting, these four materials have very similar deformation. Eighteen point thirty-eight. Eighteen point thirty-eight. In that summary table, I'm recording only first two days of the creep test. And here you can see that uh, this spectrum has uh, less creeping compared to the average PETG, which after day 2 became less than 0.2 mm. Temperature test in the oven, and I have several tests in the progress. This is speed up time lapse video, and this uh, spectrum PETG starts with deformation at approximately 67 degrees Celsius, and because of that white PC ABS, I run the experiment up to 160 degrees Celsius. And of course, at this temperature, this material became too soft. And our results one more time without any additional comments. And this one line is already added to the summary table for my Patreon supporters. It was added immediately after the Polymaker PPS video. And now some conclusions for the end. I'm very sad that I couldn't see any advantage of this PTG Teflon combination. I was really hoping that at least with the friction we can see much better results, because from the spectrum actually I ordered their polycarbonate teflon combination too, and I hope it will be better than this one. Also from the spectrum I ordered uh, ASA reinforced with Kevlar, and I will compare it with the glass and carbon fibers, and another very interesting filament nylon reinforced with glass spheres, and I will compare them to the glass fibers. And huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters, because with their donations and together with the budget which I got from the polymaker, I can buy any filament I want to test. I don't have to wait for the manufacturer if they want to send me the filament for the testing or not. Thank you for watching this video and happy printing!